Hello, it's me on the road less traveled. Um, I am, uh, <laughs> this morning I talked with my nephew, Andrew, um, and we were talking about childlike faith, and, uh, Andrew is my oldest nephew, and we were, in talking about childlike faith, it brought up the person of Luke, my youngest nephew, and, uh, the interesting thing about <laughs> childlike faith is, um, it isn't imprinted, a child isn't imprinted with all of the negatives that we bring to life as adults. And those negative imprints uh, in our lives uh, cause us to think about uh, the nuts and bolts of how the Ferris wheel, <laughs> Seattle's great wheel, is put together. And uh, so we worry, <laughs> I do, about, holy crap, I'm at the very top of the wheel right now, looking down. And what if this was the day this thing went really bad and its poor engineering came out? <laughs> Over there's the Space Needle, if you look in that direction. But anyway, coming back to Luke. Well, the reason I'm here is because I wanted to do something today that uh, was childlike in faith. I wanted to uh, live like a child and see the world like a child and the simplicity of enjoying the moment. Um, children live in truth uninhibited. <laughs> and Luke is the the most classic case in point of this. If you look out over here, you can see that over here, just beyond, uh, uh, yeah, I didn't write that way, but we're moving again. But Luke um, said to me once, in his childlike simplicity, Uncle Joel, uh, you really should lay off the food. And uh, that was a childlike statement uh, in honesty and <laughs> purity of truth. And you know what? He's right. <laughs> Anybody who knows me knows that's true. Joel, you, you should just lay off food just a little bit. And so, anyway, so this morning, here's where the story leads. This morning, I in the Kimpton Hotels they let you pick one thing from the honor bar for free essentially um, and so I uh, I went past the food it was behind the intimacy kit and the pop chips <laughs> there was a box of cards that were created by kids from the Ronald McDonald's house um, and I thought you know what Luke's right Joel, I should lay off the food, and instead I decided to grab for those cards, which I decided I would write uh, words which are food for the soul. Use each, I want to use each one of those cards to impact, to feed the souls of someone I love. Anyway, um, I'll switch to you so you can see what's behind me, it's kind of cool. Anyway, let's look at this. So Luke, this is for you. Today I am uh, on the road less tra traveled, living uh, with the simplicity of a child. Uh, anyway, it's beautiful. Uh, it is amazing uh, when you stop and just breathe and you like life in a Ferris wheel. Instead of worrying about all of the things that could go wrong, enjoy the moment. Enjoy everything that is right. Enjoy the beauty of all that is good. Children, a child's faith is focused on the very most simple things in life. 
there is the lesson that Jesus gave. In joy, in wonder, in presence. You see, children live in the immediate presence. <laughs> and uh, they aren't distracted by all the worries of tomorrow. A child doesn't think, what are we going to eat for dinner when lunch is next? <laughs> What are we going to eat right now? The child doesn't think, I'm going to play at 6 o'clock. They think, what am I going to do right now? You see, Jesus, when he talks to us in Matthew 6, he says, I don't want you to <laughs> be distracted by tomorrow. Your faith should be such that of a child. Just enjoy life and think about the right now. Isn't that an awesome lesson? So Luke, thank you for your childlike faith and because of you I went right past the food and uh, went for the cards. Thank you for your honesty. I love you, man. Get out there from the road less traveled. Wow. That's awesome.